alcoholism, addiction, and untreated mental health issues impact millions of people, and there is a path to recovery. To help us get there, COO of Clean Recovery Centers, Veronica Zubia, is here with us today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Such an important topic from addiction to mental health. So I want to start there with mental health, and what are the most common mental health issues that you see? Especially since COVID, I'll start there. We've seen a lot of depression and anxiety that was a result, direct result of COVID. People were not able to go outside, they weren't able to socialize and things of that nature. So that has really increased over the last couple of years. And something we're seeing often, do you have advice for people who may be dealing with some of those mental health issues right now? So the first thing I would suggest is speaking to your doctor, uh, being referred to maybe a therapist, something like that. It is really important to address it right away. Get the help. Get the help That's, immediately. Yes. Right. Let's talk a little bit about addiction and some of the myths that are out there. Does a person actually have to hit rock bottom? That's usually when you hear that they are going into some kind of facility. Mm -hmm. Do they have to hit rock bottom to be successful in their treatment? Okay, that's a great question. I actually believe that there is always a basement to your rock bottom. So everyone is different. You can have a rock bottom at one point in your life and something catastrophic happens a few years later and there you are again. So it really depends on the person. I think when you have noticed that you have lost things that are very important to you, family, job, employment, um, something like that, yeah. I would definitely say that you are nearing the point of no return. So when we're talking a little bit about that aspect, but also a kind of person who is addicted, who is the most at risk? Everyone. Yeah, everyone. <laughs> everyone. It, you're more susceptible if you have it in your family history, mm -hmm. if, if your parents were an alcoholic, if your grandparents were an alcoholic, or drug addiction, um, you are more susceptible. That doesn't mean you are doomed to become an addict, it just means that you're more susceptible. You have to be more aware of it. That's right. Yeah. So then if we do decide that we need to get treatment and we go into treatment, does treatment and does that treatment equate then to recovery? Not necessarily. So recovery is a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, it's, it's not treatment itself. So treatment is to teach you how to live life without those things in your life, right? How to have fun, how to manage your depression, manage your anxiety. Um, some people might be on medication um, to assist with that. So it doesn't, that's just to teach you, right? Those are just giving you the tools in your toolbox. Once you get those things and you leave treatment and that bubble, like we call it, you're up to your own devices. So you have to learn how to live a life of recovery, learning how to not go to the same bars that you went to before, or bars at all, in fact, mm -hmm. um, hanging around the same type of people who did the same things that you did before you came into treatment. So it's really important to, it's a lifestyle. It's yeah. a total change of lifestyle. So if someone's watching this right now and they want to learn more about what you offer, can you give someone a glimpse into what they will get if they contact you and say, I need help? Right, so first thing they would do is they would call and speak to someone. We have an admissions department that is extremely um, talented. They know how to talk to people over the phone to get them to understand that it's okay to ask for help and get them through that first step of acknowledging that maybe I might need some help. Once they get to our treatment facility, we have a detox, um, medical detox, and those are performed by our medical staff. We have 24-7 care for those clients. We also have groups. We have a clinical perspective. So we have some clients that might need medication after they detox for depression, anxiety, and many other mental health disorders. So they will get clinical. They will get, <clears throat> excuse me, they will get a therapist. They will get all the tools that they need to be successful. Yeah, there's a lot of services that are available. All right, how can people get in touch with you? What's the best way if they want to reach out? So reaching out is our telephone number. So our telephone number is on the screen and I would recommend they call immediately. If they think they might have an issue or they need help, we also offer mental health services um, alone. So you don't necessarily have to have an addiction to have a mental health uh, crisis. All right, and it's okay to ask for help. Absolutely. Remember that. Veronica, thank you for coming by. Thank you so you. much. You too.